Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Whitley and I serve on the Euroventure team for the International Baptist Convention. Today I'm going to be taking you through a short online training to prepare you to be a sponsor at Euroventure this year. If you haven't already, I want to encourage you to go to our website at ibc-churches.org and find the youth page under Building Connections. When you're there, make sure that you've signed up to be a sponsor at Euroventure, as well as downloaded the sponsor training and the child protection policy. If you haven't read through those yet, I want to encourage you to pause this video and take a few minutes to read through those to give you a framework for our training. Today, I'm going to be walking through both of those documents, explaining them in more detail for you, so that you can be prepared to be a good sponsor at Euroventure this year. At the end of this training, we're going to provide a few short questions that we're going to ask you to answer and submit to us in an online form. So without further ado, let's jump into the training session by beginning with our sponsor training. If you look with me at page three of the Euroventure Sponsor Training PDF, there you'll find the four roles of every sponsor at Euroventure, that of servant, teammate, leader, and witness. First, we want every sponsor at Euroventure to be a servant. Jesus said that he came not to be served, but to serve. And because Jesus came to serve us, we want to go to Euroventure to serve students. That means that when we see a need arise at camp, we want to be eager to meet that need. It might be helping a student who's not sure where they're going. It could be organizing a group to clean out some trash in their room or helping a sponsor with a task that may be difficult. Always be on the lookout for ways that you can go above and beyond the specific role that you're assigned at Euroventure so that you can serve others that week. The second role of every sponsor at Euroventure is that of a teammate. We have a fantastic team, both here in Europe as well as in the U.S., who work together throughout the year to prepare for this incredible camp. No one person can do this on their own. Therefore, we have to work together as a team in order to accomplish Euroventure. One of the most important ways that you can be a teammate at Euroventure is to never find yourself alone with another student. We're going to talk a little bit more about this when we go over the child protection policy, but I wanted to note it here in this section. Also, something important to remember is that you're not going to be able to do everything all the time. Camp is a fun but also long experience. That means that you're going to have to rotate responsibilities with other sponsors. Maybe that means alternating who leads the Bible studies during your team time. It means listening to others and taking their considerations seriously. It also means being able to step back into the background to let someone else lead for a certain amount of time. The third role of every sponsor at Euroventure is that of leader. As a sponsor, we want to lead by example. The students are watching us, seeing what they're doing, and whether we realize it or not, they're following what we do. That means that if we are following the rules and presenting ourselves as still having a great time at camp, then students will see that and be more likely to follow the rules. It also means loving students, even when they might be difficult for love, or getting your group places on time when they need to be there. If the student sees that we are excited and engaged at camp, they also will be. Therefore, we should lead by example. The fourth role and most important role of every sponsor at camp is to be that of a witness. We all have a unique opportunity, together with students from all over the world, to share the love of Christ with them. And one of the best ways that you can do that is actually preparing a short personal testimony where you can use your story of how God has saved you to impact the lives of students. There are many different ways that you can develop your testimony to share with students at Euroventure this year. 
One of the ways that I like to share my testimony can be found on page 5 of your sponsor training PDF. I like to share my simple testimony by beginning with three questions about the gospel. Who is Jesus? What did he do? And why does it matter? Remember that as a sponsor at Euroventure, your fourth and most important role is that of a witness. Peter told the church in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, And if someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. So this year at Euroventure, we want you to be prepared at any time to give a short, a simple, and a clear gospel presentation to all students. I like to begin with the question, who is Jesus? The Bible teaches that Jesus is the Son of God who came to take away our sins. Texts such as John 3.16 or John 14.6 are really good to help you explain that to students. Second, what did Jesus do? Well, to put it simply, he died for our sins so that by trusting in him, we could be set free. Check out passages like 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 through 8, or Philippians 2, 5 through 11 for more background on that. And the third question, why does it matter? Well, it matters because in Jesus, we can be saved. In Jesus, we can find freedom for our sin. Texts like Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, and Acts 2, 37 and 39 give us some clear examples of this. Who is Jesus? What did he do? And why does it matter? Now, there are a few important principles to keep in mind as you are preparing to be a witness this year at Euroventure. The first principle is, is that these are conversations. It's not a memorized script that you should follow. We want you to be aware of different ways that you can share the gospel with students and even be prepared to give some explanation. But remember, it's part of a conversation. It's not part of some scripted moment that you're going to have during camp. Second, it's important to have a good scriptural foundation for everything you're explaining. So go to those texts that we mentioned earlier and maybe spend some time memorizing them, putting them both in your head and in your heart so that when these moments do come up in conversation, you can quickly recall them, even if you don't have a Bible handy at the moment. Third, focus on the big picture. Make sure that you don't get lost in the details of things that are important, but maybe not most important for this conversation when you're chatting with students. Fourth, contextualize your answer. The student that you may be talking with might have low self-esteem. If that's the case, then show them how in Jesus you can be built up as a strong man or woman of God. Maybe the student might be proud or full of themselves. You can teach them that Jesus humbles us so that we can learn how to love others and love him. Fifth, take advantage of every opportunity. Whether we realize it or not, Every conversation that we have with students is an opportunity to engage with them in the gospel. It doesn't mean that every conversation is going to perfectly follow what we've outlined here in our being a witness, but it does mean that you can have opportunities to weave the gospel in and out of the conversations as you serve as a sponsor at Euroventure this year. Another really important aspect of developing your testimony is being able to share how Jesus has worked in your life to bring you to him. Now, I like to do this by sharing who I was before Christ and now who I am in Christ. Here are three simple principles for sharing your story about how Jesus has impacted you in this way. The first principle is simply to be honest. Don't try to inflate your testimony or add details that aren't really true to make it sound better. God gave you your testimony for a reason. Trust him that he will use his spirit to work through your life to lead others to him. The second principle is simply keep it simple. Oftentimes I hear great Christian testimonies get bogged down and lost in the details of, say, 
the process of breaking up with an ex-boyfriend or a five-minute long talk about a trip to Honduras. Just like sharing the gospel, we want you to keep your story big picture simple. So you should be prepared to share your story about who you were before Christ and who you are now in Christ in a time range of anything from 30 seconds to about five minutes. The third and perhaps best way to break out your testimony is to share about that very principle, who you were before Christ and who you are now in Christ. For example, your testimony might sound something like this. Before Christ, I was happy. Things were good in my life, but I knew something was missing. Every day, I was uncertain of what would happen to me, especially if I were to be involved in some terrible accident and die. I was looking for meaning and hope. And in Christ, I was able to find that hope. It's based on a joy that He has given me and not on my circumstances or situations around me. Now I wake up every day knowing that God is in control of my life and I have meaning and purpose in Jesus today. So remember, keep your testimony honest, keep it simple, and share who you were before Christ and in Christ as you are a witness this year at Euroventure. Now that we've explored the four roles of a sponsor and how we can develop our testimony as sponsors at Euroventure, we need to do a little cultural sensitivity training. So look back with me on page four of your sponsor training PDF. Euroventure is a unique camp in that it has a very third culture flair. That means that the majority of people, both students and sponsors who attend this camp, are probably living outside their country of origin. Let me give you a few statistics to break down exactly what that looks like. On average, Euroventure is made up of about 40% American students and sponsors. These Americans are living in Europe or somewhere else in the world, mostly because of military placement, government work, or international business. Another 40% of the students at Euroventure are made up of European youth. Many of these European youth are often living outside of their country of origin. For example, you could have one student who has a German dad and a Filipino mom who recently moved to France because of a work that their parents are doing. Another 20% of the youth are from anywhere else in the world. Every year that I've served at Euroventure, we've had students, particularly missionary kids from South America or Asia come even though they're not directly connected with the International Baptist Convention. That means that as we gain an understanding for this unique third culture, we should learn to tailor our questions in conversation. For example, where are you from, or what is your nationality, can often be a difficult question for many of our students to answer. So consider substituting those questions with things like, where's the coolest place you've lived? Or how many languages do you speak? Not only will that be an easier question to answer for most students, but it will also give you a little bit more insight into their lives and provide an opportunity to connect with them in a really fun and unique way. Something else that's important to remember is that as you're interacting with people from these various different cultures, we need to respect their culture and customs as different but not necessarily wrong. For example, you'll often see students doing things that might look different or saying things that sound different from what you're used to. A great example of this is football. If you come from the United States, football is the NFL. It's college football. It's the game where a bunch of big burly men line up and one quarterback throws the ball to a receiver to score the touchdown. But for most of the students at Euroventure, football refers to the game where the lean and athletic guys run around a soccer pitch for 90 minutes trying to score that one precious goal. So keep in mind that even words that you may use that are familiar to you could be different to someone else. 
and use these opportunities to learn from these differences and respect them as different without being wrong. Another important thing to remember is that at your adventure, looks can be deceiving. To put it more bluntly, not every white student is American. You may be speaking with a student that has near perfect English, but they may not be from the U.S. A good way to learn more about this is to ask them what church they're coming to your adventure with, or maybe to share their background to gain a better understanding of the students. This way, you can learn to see the more nuanced cultural differences in every person you encounter at your adventure. And as you find these cultural differences and respect them as being different but not wrong, it's good to find a cultural middle ground. Use your knowledge of popular music, fashion, or, or maybe a travel experience that you've had to connect with students in their various different ways. And when you're in doubt about what something is different or if it's good or bad, don't be afraid to speak to one of our Euroventure team leaders. You can find a full list of who is on the Euroventure team on page four of your sponsor training PDF. Now that we've spent some time exploring the Euroventure sponsor training together, I want to draw your attention to another document that you can find on the website called our Euroventure Youth Protection Policy. Go ahead and pull that up on your computer now. This Euroventure Youth Protection Policy exists to first protect students from any form of abuse at camp, and second, to protect us as we are serving at Euroventure. We want you to read this document thoroughly after this video. But before we do that, I want to draw your attention to a few specific things for you to keep in mind as you're preparing for your adventure. First, as a sponsor at your adventure, we require that you provide a reference letter from the pastor of your sending church. We will contact the pastor of the church listed in your registration to obtain this reference. For sponsors who are coming as part of the United States College team, which come on a yearly basis, both a reference check and a background check are mandatory. These things are handled by our U.S. team coordinator. Second, and a very important aspect of this youth protection policy is the two-to-one ratio. At Euroventure, we have a zero-tolerance policy for campers being alone with adult sponsors. And we expect sponsors to maintain the two to one ratio with students at all times. That means that a student and a sponsor can never be in a one to one situation in a closed room. That means that if a sponsor is ever traveling from the downtown lodge to the Congress Hall or taking a student shopping, they have to have more than one camper with them at all times. If a camper needs to speak to you about something personal, which is very likely to happen during your adventure, then we respect the right to audio privacy, but not visual privacy. That means that a sponsor can speak to a student privately, but must be in an area where they can be seen by someone else at all times. Remember that as you are escorting campers back and forth to the Congress Hall, that we should be respecting this two-to-one ratio. Always have at least two students or another sponsor with you as you're walking back and forth. And campers and medical personnel in a one-to-one -one ratio are not to be together in a closed room. This means that if you have to take a camper with you to the medical team, that you should remain with that medical team member until another sponsor is present to relieve you of that two to one ratio. It's also important to remember that Euroventure happens in the town of Grindelwald. Between the hours of 2 and 6 p.m., campers are permitted to leave camp and to explore the surrounding area with various activities. Remember that this is something we encourage at Euroventure, but only when students leave camp with a sponsor. It is not permitted for students to leave camp without a sponsor. Therefore, we ask you to help us during these various times by volunteering to go with students on hikes or shopping 
or to get ice cream to ensure that everyone can enjoy camp to the fullest. Remember that we do have trained medical personnel at Euroventure. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are taking a student to see that trained medical staff for a medical emergency, remain with the student and the medical professional to keep that two to one ratio. We've also been very intentional about creating a rebuse report, report form. If you hear of a student telling them that they have been abused either in the past or during the week at Euroventure, we want this to be taken very seriously. In the event that this happens, you must immediately take that student with you to find a Euroventure team member. We have a form that we want you to thoroughly fill out along with the student to be given to the camp director. The camp director will then take that form and as soon as possible, have a meeting with the Euroventure team members to decide what the correct next steps are. And the authority at camp ultimately rests in the camp director and the Euroventure team. Any disputes or questionable behavior should be brought to their attention immediately so that they can be handled in an orderly and efficient manner. Again, go back and read through this Euroventure Youth Protection Policy to make sure that you understand all of the important details about keeping campers safe this year at Euroventure. So sponsor, thank you for attending this important online training for Euroventure this year. If you have any more questions that you'd like to ask us or clarifications on the things that you've learned, then feel free to send us an email at youthteam at ibc-churches.org. We also have a short and simple quiz that we'd like for you to fill out online under the sponsor registration page to show that you have learned the things that you need to know to be a sponsor at Euroventure this year. We are excited that you are partnering with us in this great endeavor for Euroventure. We pray that God will prepare not only our hearts, but also the hearts of every single student to receive his word with gladness. So join us this year as we prepare, as we pray, as we plan, and as we enjoy this unique time together, celebrating God's goodness with students and leaders from all over the world. We're looking forward to seeing you at Euroventure this year.